Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Had an itch. Anyways, so as the title shows, this is my fancy pants shave. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're using. I decided not to go ahead. I don't have any fancy hats. I have ball caps. Um, I thought about slapping on my Larry the Cable Guy Get Her Done hat. But, I decided not to. My shirt, it's a Hawaiian shirt. It's a fancy Hawaiian shirt. That's just going to have to do. Anyways, the razor, which is fancy. It is my, to my knowledge, my most expensive razor. I think maybe, possibly, my Schick repeater, uh, Type A repeater injector razor might be be a little bit more might cost a little bit more but my girlfriend won't tell me anyways um the razor is my bronze timeless open comb with the 0 0.78 blade gap the blade in there is a feather on its second use the brush if we're doing a fancy pants shave we gotta go with badger hair right Oops. And it is this one, my Whip Dog 24 millimeter high mountain white brush in the tall amber handle. Absolutely love this brush. The soap, it's not real expensive. Oh God, but I love the smell. To me, the smell reeks of fancy, and it is Razor Rock Alchemy. I will be finishing that up with. The matching splash so let's go ahead and get on to oh also it says in the title a special um, announcement for Samuel many of you have probably already seen the video there's a young man 17 years old from Australia named Samuel in case you don't know of him and I never knew this until very recently. The young man is only 17 years old. Just graduated high school with this pandemic. Um, his graduation didn't quite go the way I imagined he wanted it to. Um, I'm not sure if he is able to do prom or not. Uh, it doesn't sound like he did. I don't think he got to walk across the stage on what is an incredibly big day for a young man of his age. Samuel, thank you so much for the support you have given me. Thank you so much for the support you give this community. You are truly one of the special ones out there when it comes to subscribers because from what I understand, you support everybody. There was at least 25 YouTubers that you support and I know you know cuz I did I didn't do a clip for you she shaves with Jill didn't do a clip and I'm pretty sure there's a few other YouTube channels out there that you support at least a few others and so like I said thank you so much for being a supporter of mine and a subscriber thank you so much for being a subscriber and supporter to all these other channels and um, you know uh, like Jimmy from NYC Shaving said, you've got a lot of years ahead of you when it comes to wet shaving. So, you know what? Make the most of them. And just grab life by the short hairs, hang on, and go for the ride, man. Anyways, uh, so that's what I wanted to say to you, Samuel. Anyways, so back to the shave. I've got like a week's worth of growth. Took a shower scrubbed down my face, scrubbed my head. My back has been giving me a lot of issues lately. I've been having trouble sleeping. Um, so I just quite honestly haven't felt up to shaving or doing a video. So since I have this much growth, we're gonna do some pre-shave, which is the PAA cube. Let me wet the face, and I'll go ahead and use the cube, and then we'll go ahead and lather up the brush and get, get busy. Grab the 
Cube Reddit. I've seen people say that if you got a good soap, you don't need a pre-shave. However, taking down this much growth, I want as much protection as I can get. Set this over here on the little drying rack. I'm just gonna rub this into the bristles. And the cube is a lather booster, so And it's been very warm here. Today was actually nice. Rinse my hands. But it's been warm here. Today was actually nice. Tomorrow's supposed to be decent as well. Day before yesterday, it was in the 90s. Um, we've had weather as hot as 105 here so far. Where did I put my alchemy? There it is. But we've had temperatures up above 100. So, yeah, it's, it's been a little brutal. And to be quite honest, I don't like the heat. Um, yeah, Johan of Shaven Butcher, he uh, mentioned that it was 25 degrees where he lived the other day, which is Celsius. And I did the conversion, it was like 70 something degrees, 77 point something, I think. And I'm just like, man. Did the conversion, 105 degrees Fahrenheit is like 46.6 or something like that in Celsius. All the stuff going around in the news of the lake here in the States. Rough. Real rough. Um, Okay guys, hang on a sec. The bristles on that Whip Dog High Mountain White are gel tips. And they just feel so nice on the face. I mean, when I want to have an absolute luxurious, luxurious, just a fancy pants fill and shave, I bust that out. And it never ever disappoints. 
Anyways. Here we go. First pass with the grain. Ah, yes. was gonna do a video showing me take down this mountain man growth with Chevette but then I got tagged by Rich Hansen to do this here fancy pants shape So, I will do a Chevette shave, a Chevette shave here soon. Probably not with as much growth as I got now. I usually don't get this easily, but sometimes I do. But. YouTube, 17 oh, minutes ago. I notification. YouTube, 17, <sighs> YouTube. 17 minutes ago, IAMCDB, straights numbered, two. voice over off. There. Sorry guys, I did put it on airplane mode for whatever reason, I'm still getting notifications. Okay, let me rinse off here. There we go. I do have some new subscribers to announce. I would like to welcome to the channel Dave Card. Or as Chris Bailey likes to call him, Diamond Dave Card. Man, that guy is fast on his shaves. He is really fast. Um, with a straight razor, especially, it's like wow. Um, guy from Shaving Chronicles. The Sask Shaver in Pacific Shaving. So, I unfortunately haven't had a chance to check out a, a Sask shaving video yet, but I will. Go. 
Anyways, here we go for Fancy Pants Pass 2. Across the growth. Just taking this growth down really, really nice. I got a sled head. I don't have a chance to watch the video. I plan to. But he took down a nine month growth beard with a safety razor. So, I'll go watch that one. See what he used. Because, you know, nine month beard. Taking it down with a safety razor. That's a pretty good razor. Thank you everybody for your last comments on my Zoom Groom, for your comments on my last video, Zoom Groom Challenge. Um, I think I got in, I think I got them all. There's a couple of replies that I need to reply to on comments I made back to them. Let's go ahead and let's do a paint on for the last pass. Yeah, I know some people they're like, they don't want to deal with these feather blades. Because they've heard stories about how sharp they are, and they are a sharp blade. But, you know, as long as you treat the blade with respect, it'll treat your face with respect. Um, I didn't quite respect the blade on that last shave I did, that Zoom Groom Challenge. It's kind of ripped through the whiskers on that one. I'm really quite surprised I didn't lay myself open. But fortunately, it did not happen. To me, the scent on this razor rock is a cologne. Oh, cologne scent. Almost got myself there. It's a cologne scent. Strength scent. Strength's pretty good for razor rock soap.
like it. Price is pretty darn good too, actually. I forget the price. I think the aftershave is only like seven, eight bucks. Maybe a little more. So. But. Scent is just gorgeous on it, I think. Of course, I'm kind of biased because I love the scent. Whiskers all in my mouth here. And as you can see, the residual slickness is pretty good too. Let's fill around this little bit right there. Come on, guys. A little bit of a soap on my fingers. Don't want to drop this razor. Good enough there. All right there. And uh, there you go. Anyways, that's good for me. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off, and I'll be back for the alum. All right, guys. We are back for the alum. I oh, am. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's biting. It's biting. But, you know, I got a week's worth of growth. So. Anyways, so, but that's it for a minute. So anyways, that is the shave. I'll see you all back here for the post. Hey guys, yeah, Timeless did a spectacular job on the face. Can't get fancier than, well you can, but I can't get fancier than my bronze Timeless open comb for 140 bucks. My head, Oh, I missed a little spot right there. I'll clean it up in a few. I went ahead and took most of it down with my timeless because all the growth finished up with a disposable cart style razor. I actually would love to get the leaf eventually. Um, so leaf, if you're out there and you see this video and you need anybody to test your next gen of the leaf razor, look me up. <laughs> um, just kidding guys. Uh, but that would be cool. Anyways, um, the brush, Whip Dog, High Mountain White, with gel tips, absolutely spectacular brush. Absolute luxury the second you start using it. I love it. It's one of my favorite brushes. It's one of the only three badgers I have, but 
I absolutely love it. The blade feather, I think I pretty much killed it on my noggin, but you know, I've got more. The soap, Alchemy by Razor Rock, did a great job, makes a wonderful lather, um, nice creamy, slickness is there, residuals there, everything you want is there. The scent, stronger than what most Razor Rocks, than not most, than a lot of Razor Rocks I've smelt has. Of course, I don't have tons and tons of Razor Rock like some guys out there do. Um, but for me, that's one of the strongest scented ones I do have. So, let's go ahead and let's get on to the pose. The never-ending bottle of Dickinson's Tea Dickinson's Witch Hazel. It was five bucks. It's more than the normal Dollar General brand, so... Fancy to me. That's good. That's good. Oh. Yeah, I was in such desperate need of a shave. I'm so glad I got it done. Um, the bomb. You know what? It ain't fancy, but it works. Nivea for sensitive skin. Which I'm getting low. I gotta get some more here. Next couple of days, I think. is one bomb that will always remain in my den. I love the scent. I love everything about it. It's a great product. Not the excess on my arms. Why not, right? And finally, the aftershave, Alchemy from Razor Rock. Nice low glass bottle, nice screw top. Oh, I just love the scent. It's got a pretty good restrictor. It doesn't come guzzling out like some of the cheaper brands. Oh yeah, that's got a bite. Go for a little more. I think it was Luis Enrique Victoria on the budget shaver. Um, he was saying he did the live shave and uh, he was talking for a minute after, for a few minutes after the shave, I guess. And, um, I can't remember who he said it was, but he was using Ice Blue, Aqua Bubba Ice Blue. He loves that stuff. Um, and he is using it, and someone just kept telling him more Aqua Bubba. He's like, all right, all right, all right. He did like four or five applications of it, and he was finally like, no, I can't, no, no more. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, I guess, the risky run when you live shave, huh? Anyways, guys. That's the shave. Thank you for joining me. Or I should say, that's the Fancy Pants Shave. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you for all my long-term subscribers, all my relatively new subscribers for the support. Um, thank you for the likes, comments. If you're not a subscriber, please click that, hit that subscribe button, and go ahead and kick the bell and click all. That way you'll be notified of when I release a new video. And if you ever need to reach me for any questions regarding shaving, blindness, anything such as that, or if you just want to chat, go ahead. You can reach me at all lowercase, no spaces, just lance59 at gmail.com. Anyways, uh, I hope everybody's been staying safe, um, been keeping out of trouble of any kind. Um... So please don't think, uh, you know, I'm targeting any type of trouble, but any trouble of any kind, especially if it's over shaved gear with your spouse. Anyways, um, I'll see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.